everyone! I'm Beth with Crafty Corner with another new product from Cricut. I'm super excited. Cricut recently introduced Glow in the Dark Iron-On Vinyl. It is so fun. Let's make a skeleton shirt for Halloween. The supplies we're going to need are a black long sleeve shirt, our standard grip mat, a weeder, some measuring tape, and our easy press, and of course the new Glow in the Dark Iron-On Vinyl. First thing we want to do is measure our shirt for placement as to where, um, how long we want our sleeves to be and the placement of the uh, rib cage. Here's what it looks like in Design Space. I grabbed this file from Inside Design Space, so if you have access, this would be free. Let's go ahead and open up our vinyl here. You can see that there is still a shiny side and a dull white side here. So we want to make sure that shiny side is face down towards our standard grip mat. All right, let's get it loaded and get cutting. After it's done cutting, we want to go ahead and weed our project. It weeds very easily, just like regular everyday iron-on vinyl. Then we're going to turn our easy press on. We want it to 315, so we're going to lower it down to 315 for temperature for 30 seconds. First what I do is I fold up my shirt in half, increase it with my easy press so that I can fold my design in half and then I know my design is exactly in the middle. Let's go ahead and transfer this over. After it's been heated for 30 seconds, we want to give it some time to cool and then we can go ahead and peel off the carrier sheet. All right, we're gonna repeat the process for our skeleton arms. We're going to give a quick little preheat to our sleeve. Place the vinyl. And heat again for 315 degrees for 30 seconds. And then you can remove the carrier sheet once it's cooled. Let's speed it up here for the second sleeve. What a fun shirt for Halloween. I just love how it glows. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, give us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.